Hello everybody and welcome back to the ECC Division 1 playoffs. Uh, we did just see on stream, I believe, Ascension Trinity and uh, Trinitas uh, playing where Ascension took that 4-1. to one. Uh, So they got that result. They're going to the semi-finals against ILV Esports. And now on this channel, we're going to be seeing We Vicious against Glasgow Storm, who did just play on the B stream, beating No Hope Esports 4-3. Uh, so before we dive any further into this game, let's introduce ourselves again at the Castle Desk. My name is Stellar, and I'm my name is Gushin. How are you today? Hello and welcome. Thank you for the introduction. Um, I'm doing I'm doing quite well. How are you? Are you hyped for, to cast another game? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty hyped. I mean, uh, this is first cast of the day for me. Um, but even still, it's exciting to see uh, the Division 1 playoffs. You know, got some quality teams playing today and especially excited to see We Vicious, who came uh, first in uh, Division 1.2. So uh, it's going to be great to see how they'll face off against Glasgow Storm, who did just come off uh, a victory there um, in a really close match, mind you, 4-3. So, um, you know, going up against no esports, who, you know, nothing to scoff at, really. They're a great team as well, so they did deserve to make it here. Uh, but it's going to be a tough task against the Wee Vicious side, who uh, are looking pretty strong. And I can see their lineup actually they got Pio's, uh, Traxy, and Vision playing today. So, uh, yeah, pretty strong uh, lineup of players here. So, yeah, I'm super excited to see how this match will go down. Yeah, and especially if you if you come in, into this one, we wish is probably being a little bit more like what is war, warmed up but not tired out yet. While if Glasgow, if you take it all the way to game seven, all the way to that last game, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of stuff pent up there. So there's gonna be uh, that that's gonna probably take some adjusting because you're also playing against a team and getting to uh, getting to a certain comfort level playing against them, knowing what they do, and now all of a sudden have to adjust to a different team could also put you in uh, a bit of a, a back back mindset. But on the other hand, you could be warm, you could be speedy, and you could like the first few games blow out we vicious who are still looking to adjust to whatever type of play Glasgow Storm is coming up with. Yeah, indeed. You know, if you're we vicious, you would be wanting to do scrims, you know, just warming up before this. And I imagine they are doing that. You know, it's the uh, responsible thing to do, you could say. Uh, whereas Glasgow, as I said, they could be a bit tired out because uh, they went on, you know, a game seven. It's a, you know, grind a series almost. You have to be, you know, quite on your game. And, you know, to win that, I imagine, put, you know, a sigh of relief. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, they could be a little bit tired out, but they had a short break at least, uh, just, you know, reset. And then they got to bring it here again. But it's going to be vicious, you know, they don't know what to expect out of Glasgow. You know, Glasgow, they just played on stream, they know what that pressure is like. And who knows how we vicious will uh, handle it. But I think we'll now just uh, hop into our predictions uh, before we get started. Uh, who do you think is going to win this game? Well, I want to put my... Uh, I, I want to put my mouth on the team that has the warm-up so i'm gonna go for glasgow storm in this one all right fair enough i think i'll go the opposite end with we vicious you know they are uh the, you know the number one team coming out of division 1.2 after all and i do think overall they're a slightly stronger team um and you know i think yeah they were the ones to come out with the victory here but uh, i think it, it could go all the way actually i believe so uh, we'll just have to see how this match goes. Both these teams are uh, fairly equal in quality, but I think we wish this will just, um, just have the upper hand slightly, I'd say. But I think it's about time we get into this match now. Uh, both the teams are ready, so I think we'll just get started. Yeah, and I gotta say, like Glasgow Storm, if they have to go to another game seven and work their way through all of that to get there, then that could be in their disadvantage. Like having to play back to back best of sevens, you eventually are gonna tire out. Yes, indeed. So now we're kicking off here with Wee Vicious against Glasgow Storm. Um, best of seven series, as we said, and whoever wins this will, of course, be through to that grand finals. Seeing a bit of back and forth action to begin with. The ball landing in the half of Wee Vicious. Pio's going to take his time with that. Getting it out into the midfield for Vision. And so Percy blocks off that clear. Now Pio's with a bit of a whiff off the backboard. Doesn't allow tracks in there, though. Let's get this one out. Clearing it into the midfield. No one pushed up enough for it, so he's got to follow up himself. Try to force this one into the box if they can. Pace gets it over and Percy now gonna take it to the side to follow up. But Pio's still applying that pressure, looking for a chance, and it is gonna be cleared out. 
We just have a little bit of space to work with here, so we like to get the ball to each other, but it's a little bit awkward for them, and Glasgow actually now have a bit of possession. Is that a demo coming in from Bram? Tracks are going to try by a little bit of time with that pinch. As uh, Bram on the respawn will get it back. Vision with the back one. Here comes Bios for the shot, but it is well wide of the net. As now Pace is going to try to take this one out. One minute gone. Looking a bit neck and neck so far at the moment. What do you think of this game so far? Uh, I see they're still ne neck and neck scoreline wise, but I see a lot of like mistakes uh coming out of glasgow with their with the way they are rotating they are not really creating uh, a lot of space for themselves they get into each other's lanes and kind of small bumps and micro mistakes are happening so this could start costing them if this keeps happening and we fish just starts noticing that and pouncing on those mistakes yes indeed i was noticing a little bit of that out of glasgow storm you maybe looked a little bit panicked uh and we just look a little bit more composed. They at least try to make use of the space when they can. He seems to know what's up. But now we see Bram kind of trying to take this one down the field. We see Vision with a bit of possession. Not the best touch into the center, but will I manage? Pio does get a demo. It's now Drax trying to put this one out. Bram out to the side. Pio's going to try to pick it up again. Looking for a center potentially, but the flick is going to be shot down quickly by Percy. So this one also probably again. Vision trying to fall off himself. Let's cause a double commit though. And it will allow. The Glasgow side to get out as the PO is trying to press on. Bram going to push it down the field. Vision with a little bit of space, but not for long. The player just pounced onto him and now Drax, he takes us up to Skies again. Going for that bomb with the defender and it will just work out off the post and we Vicious get on the board. That is a dirty, dirty play right here. The way he gets past it, just looking for the defender and, and demoing or at least bumping them well enough, just throwing your body in there to just change the directory of your opponent just slightly to get it to roll into net. That's not the kind of mistake or thing I would have expected to give us the first goal, but if this is the start of the series, we're going to have a very interesting one on our hands. Yeah, indeed. And if we're seeing Trax pulling out those plays, we know that he's quite the mechanical player. He likes to make solo plays like that. It must be satisfying for him to work out. So, yeah, I'm not personally not too surprised that that could maybe be the first goal. But nevertheless, we see Trax again working up in the field there, as we see Vision now, he's going to try and make a center off the back wall, but Pace has shot him down as the P.O.'s waiting patiently, maybe a bit too patient actually, as the ball was taken over him, there's no traction to put it down the field again, does leave it for Vision, but he has beat errors and the P.O.'s waiting back, does have Pace pre-jumping that though, but it will be a free clear for him, it's past Percy, P.O.'s going to try get this one to the center, it's right into the box, Pace going to try get it out, so P.O.'s with a great demo to Percy, and allows tracks a bit of space, but he just booms the ball away for free, and it's now Go try to get it onto the back boys. He can't really follow this up too well as he's got limited boost to work with Vision. Trying to put it back into the box again. The pace into the center. Percy trying to get a dunk on it potentially, but now it's just over to Bram. Who's going to be putting it away as a pace. Look at the center. Here comes Percy for the shot off the bar. Theos will be making that clear. Now look at the transition now. Bit of a, bit, there's some bumps there coming out from Glasgow Storm side. Though as Percy trying to push out onto it. The tracks. He did have an open net, going to try to look into the back. We're going to give a shot here for Vision, and they will put it on net. We Vicious extending their lead. Yeah, it looks like a very strong game here, game one here for We Vicious. They find the they find each other a little bit easier on offense, while Glasgow is struggling to get it out of their half. They are not looking for passing plays. They are not looking to take control of the ball and taking a dribble or a flick. They're just they're just giving away the ball a little bit too often, and that means that all the pressure is on them, and they need to start weathering that storm a little bit better and not give up any more goals. Yeah, indeed. They've got to try to keep the ball within their team a little bit more. You know, getting touches out to their teammates and going for those passes is a good way to do it. Because uh, they've struggled to get many chances so far this game. And whenever chances have come for Glasgow, we just seemingly didn't have a problem with it. There's less than a minute left. Pace trying to get on that one. Pio's again with that save. Seeing Vision trying to push it out. See Pio's going to go up for this one. Pace also up against Vision. And actually, that could be a fake. And it's just going to roll in maybe. No off the post. So tracks. With a lot of time to work with, he knows that tries to force the 50 with one vision. Diving across, can't get to it, so there's half a minute left. Feels again, knows he has that time and space, just baiting in that defender. So he's trying to take it down the field. Bram with a light touch up as we see vision. He's going to take it down the field, trying to beat out Parse, will not happen. So it's onto the backboards. Trax actually take it out of the defender that was sitting on the backboard, and he could have been a free shot. Vision finally going to come in for it, but will not matter too much. The clock going to 
run down here, a 2 0 victory for Wee Vicious. Must say, a very strong start for them. They looked very comfortable in this game, and you know, yeah, it's looking great for them because Glasgow Storm, you know, despite being the victors in the last game, you don't really, you know, they don't look too comfortable against this Wee Vicious team. You know, as we said, they were giving the ball away a little bit too often, potentially struggled to get out of their half, and it's something they got to sort going into the next game. Yeah, they need to start sorting one way or another, but from We Vicious, I'd like to see some changes as well. If we are looking at them, their, their chances to win are not because they have complete control over the ball. They're risking some of their touches just a little bit too much. Uh, it, it's mostly Glasgow Storm's mistake that lead to a lot of We Vicious uh, goals than it is all the all We Vicious all the time. So they can do a little bit more with that control. And on the other hand, that means that Glasgow, by just adjusting a little bit and keeping that control for themselves can uh, maybe create some more chances here or there because in at the end of the day they don't have enough chances and if they get a chance it's not a great one there's always a defender in that there's always someone to challenge uh, the one that's attacking so they need to see more passes they need to do more deliberate attacks instead of randomly hoping it's going to bump in yeah you have a great point there you know you've got to be maybe a little bit more structured we're going on to attacks, so you have a little bit of a plan rather than just praying that it works. I feel like that's the way Glasgow's been playing so far, but we're going into game two. Got stuff to sort as we see Weavish is going to try to contain the momentum as Trax is just battling down the field. A good read there from Pace, as that feels like come in off the backboard. No one's up for this as Vision tries to get to it. And Trax with a very light touch into the middle, and actually the defender missing there, but thankfully Parse can dive across. To save it away, has got a bit of control here. He feels going to take it off of us. And Bram tries to find Parsley up the field. We will not be able to get a touch on it. It's now Pace missing that one. Vision going to try to take it himself. And he tried to go for a reset, but that bump as well. Very well done for Vision there. And we vicious get on the board first. That's just dirty. A turtle bump after a reset. Just <laughs> jumps out to get on the floor a little bit quicker. And then just bullies Percy into net. Says, You're staying here. The ball's coming in as well. And you're just going to have to take it. Yeah, indeed. Very good job from Vision, you know. His initial attempt at a play didn't work out too well, but he made the best of it. The turtle bomb just working so well. That was a free shot there for Dio, so... Great first goal coming out as now Glasgow Storm on the attack. Traxy very quick to that ball. His pace trying to get onto the back, but with Trax going to have a free clear here. Tries to get down the field. His Vision chasing this one down. He's got no boost to work with, though. And Parsley will just delete him from the game. So, Bram, not the best clear. It does land into the hand of Pios, and now he gets it. Ends the corner, here comes Parse. Vision is going to barrel right into him. There's now tracks onto this one force to 50. Pio's surely going to be forced to this. Does at least get a contest on the ball. So we see Vision to get out to the side. He's got a little bit of space to work with. So this one ends the field. Bit of control now for the side of Glasgow. Pio's going to try intercept this ball. So now we see Bram putting it into the side. Tracks going to put it down field, but now Glasgow have a little bit of time to work with Parsley, trying to make something work here. Pio's We'll shut it down and we'll try to get a clear out. So pace, a little bit off for him. Pios is going to try to stay on it actually, and rightfully so. It's now a double commit. They're a bit awkward for Wee Vicious, but it will not matter. And with two minutes into this game, Wee Vicious still seem to have most of the control here. Yeah, and every time we see one of those long hits, Percy here, Percy here finally on the other side of a pass. It didn't look too deliberate, so I'm not, I'm, I'm ca like cautiously optimistic here. But at least they get a chance that looks good, gets in the net, and gets them the equalizer here. Yeah, and I want to say, you know, with Parsley, he seems to be barking upfield quite often. He's seen doing it a couple of times. And, you know, his teammates, at least on the close, have tried to get it up to him. And so, however deliberate that was, it worked pretty well as a you know, quality touch from Bram and it allowed Parsley that chance. So. It does work for Glasgow, they do get themselves back into the game as now. This is a great chance for Wee Vicious Vision. What a flick! And we'll just answer back really quickly here. And not just a flick, but also the question, where is the defense? People just getting bumped and demoed and removed from every which way. There's no chance to really defend anything if you just get bullied like this. And Wee Vicious is, as their they name suggests, just being vicious right now. Yes, indeed. You know, it seems like they're Org game does match the way they play and it does continue here. Where was the defense here? This seems to be all over the place. It's a free net here for Pios. 
Yeah, just completely free. I Going up on the wall there for uh, Little Pace is not the best choice. You are always in an awkward position. I mean, it wasn't in an awkward position to begin with, so there was not a lot you could do here, but there's just almost no control here, and that's been the biggest problem for Glasgow. Just no control to finish off the ball or to even get good defensive positioning. Yeah, indeed. There was another goal for Traxy there. You know, it, yes, it, there was one defender challenging him, but I mean, he was given so much space on that one. He's going to put that one through. We is just, just slapping Glasgow around the field. 4-1 up. We've got to say Glasgow couldn't have any kind of response. He was vision off the ceiling, trying to get something going. Percy will have an easy hit of that ball as their tracks. <laughs> He's signing a little bit too much. They're dribbling from that height. Bit questionable, but... Now he stays one to the corner tracks to pick this one up. He shot down in little pace really quickly though. As there's no one back just yet. Pace gonna try to touch it down for Bram, but he's a little bit too far forward as so Pio's back down the field. As Vision taps it down for Pio's again. One two play working out. Five one now. Yeah, and this is where you could start saying, okay, I think we Vision is surviving. They see their chances, they see that they're better, and they're starting to relax. But by relaxing, they create a lot more space, a lot more chances for each other because they're just, they just know someone is going to be there. They are fast enough. They just throw out the passes, and it's working for them. And it's, it's really on Glasgow to stop this, to get that goal, to shut them up, and make them try harder because once they are trying harder, there's a bit more chance here for Glasgow. Yeah, indeed. You've got to try to force the issue if you're Glasgow Storm, because if you don't, then you're know, wee vicious. They're going to be, uh, you know, they're going to keep this confidence going, and you just basically got to say to Glasgow, like, look, right, we're, we're here to play. We're not going to let you away that easily. And so, wee vicious. Uh, right now, they think, okay, we can relax a little bit, but Glasgow really got to, you know, try to force the issue here. They're going to get back into it. As we see, Parsley, they're going to try to clear it down the field. Peel is going to get back onto it. There's so the vision. Taking his time here, gonna blast this one out of the net. It's off the bar, and you got to fall off on track, say. At this point, this seems like Glasgow. They know this game is over. Six to one now. Yeah, it's they, they feel it's over, and you just see the cute little extra things that they're trying to do, seeing if anything can work to get a goal on the board. And yeah, if I was Glasgow, I would have left it. I, I would leave this game for what it is. Make sure that you focus on next game. Start working on your rotations a little bit more. Move one of your players a bit further back and your other person a bit further forward. So you create that space for good passing plays and being able to put up a lot more defense on the midfield. Because right now, they just can't do anything. And all of the balls seem to just be gravitating towards the orange net yeah we see the brazil coming out here you don't see this often but my word what a bag of tracks here maybe you could consider a bit lucky off that 50 but nevertheless 7-1 we wish just just showing their dominance in this game this is a minute left and you're right in saying that uh glasgow just gonna you know try something new try to change things up and just prepare for the next game because this one is an unsurmountable lead to come back from so you just got to try something and just get ready for the next game, maybe get yourself a consolation goal or two, and just get a bit of that confidence back. As you see, a little pace. Gonna try to take it over one off the back where Pio's a touch into the corner. Vision gonna be onto that as the pace. He does have a shooting chance, and there we go, they do finally get one back. Maybe a little bit of a scuffed goal, you could say, but nevertheless, it's gonna be good for Glasgow here. Yeah, it's good for them. They get the Brazil, they wipe it off, like they wipe it off the board for now, they get one goal back, and if they can just look at some different strategies, maybe not even look for those passing plays, but start just working in a lot more bumps and demos against your opponent, because we see uh, we fit, uh, we vicious just playing very far forward and playing very risky. So start sacrificing one or two players every once in a while for those bump and demo plays and just throw off we vicious next game make sure they have to fear you every time you move up they have to be afraid of you because you could start demoing them and that could get into their mindset and start making them play a little bit safer yeah indeed and we've talked about it, or at least i have in previous uh, playoff series where um, you know, demos, they can be very effective in breaking down a team and you know, it's, it's used often in high level play, you know, you've seen teams such as Endpoint, for example, uh, they do incorporate demos into the playstyle and, you know, it's all because, well, I mean, yes, it is a very annoying playstyle to play against, but uh, that's kind of the point, you know, you, with Wee Vicious, if you're just going for demos over and over again, um, you know, if you guys are going for demos against Wee Vicious, then It'll force them to play differently, maybe a little bit more passive. They'll give you more space and you know, force them to respect you more. 
And so that, I think that's something good for Glasgow to do, uh, really. Get those demos a wee vicious and you'll force them to play in a different way. And it will hopefully generate more chances for them as well, because that's something they've been lacking severely in this series. Yeah, and not not just like throwing off the defender a little bit. It's that defenders are getting so good that the only way to get past them is to demo them. So it's just a natural progression for teams to start focusing on demos a bit more. And even at this level, like not just endpoint level, you can still have teams that focus on demos and just throw off their opponents by making them get off of the field a bit more often. Yes, indeed. As we're going into game three, some early offense here for the wee vicious side, but it is successfully defended by Glasgow Sonics of Traxy. Up to its old tracks again, trying to go for the reset, but it's got no boost to work with. And can't progress it through. There is now Ram, an awkward touch. You lose the control of that ball a bit too easily. There's now another shot towards that Percy will just pop it out to the side as Percy now up for it again, looking to get this one out. As Bram and Percy on top of each other, it's not what you want to see for them as Pio's another shot pace. Gonna chip it high. I see vision on it and just an awkward defense here for Glasgow Storm leads to the first goal. I mean, you want to go for demos and look for those special kind of plays, but when you're getting pushed this far back into your net, there's no chance to do any of that. You're just quickly rotating back, grabbing one or two pads, trying to defend the goal again, and at some point something has to break, and it's going to be the team that's getting denied boost, that's getting denied space, and for now that seems to be Glasgow all the way. Yes, indeed. As we see Parsley, he's lurking up field again, trying to go for those redirects, but not going to phase Wee Vicious. This is going to go back down the field. Draxy now looking for his passes to the field. A bit too much power on it. As now Parsley going to have this. He's got a lot of pace to work with the centre. Going for that pass, and here comes the shot to the fence of Wee Vicious. Graham with the follow up, and it will go off little pace as Glasgow Storm finally get their first goal. Yeah, and what a touch it was. The double commit is, of course, the the nail in the head there and it's a bit lucky that we get that goal in it's still cool i like it i like these kind of goals they just happen for a reason sometimes you are now tied back up make sure you don't get pushed back into your 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 half and start challenging this we vicious team because they need to be denied this space they need to be denied the freedom that they've been given these first few games Yes, indeed, and they did a really good job of that, actually going for those passes, and it did work out that time, as I said, maybe a bit lucky, but you know what, you'll take it, it doesn't matter how you get those goals, you're just going to have to take it, it's now low pace, going to trip out into the middle, Drax going to try to take it out, Parsley, infield to Bram, what a pass, but an equally impressive save from Vios to read that shot coming in, as we now see Parsley trying to work into the midfield again, goes to the infield again, but no one is pushed up enough on the Glasgow Storm side, it's now Bram, Looking for another center. Here comes Vision to intercept it. Uh, Parsi has got a little bit of space to work with. Pio's trying to pre jump it, not successful. So Parsi looks to put it into the middle, fighting against Traxi for control of the ball. As Bram has a shooting chance, Pio's going to get a touch on it. As our pace puts it towards the net. And Glasgow's starting looking a lot better now, I must say. Yeah, looking a lot better, but once again, they almost have a st they almost stop the o their, their own goal, their own goal chance. Bram flipping away there at the last second to get out of the way of Little Pace's shot. It goes in, they get ahead, and this looks like a very good comeback for them. They needed to get they need to get this win because being three behind against a team that's looking this strong is gonna put out all your chances. So good start now for Glasgow to see if they can take some control in this series. Yes, indeed. Uh, so halfway through this game, we'll see if Glasgow can hold on to this lead. This is looking a little bit of a mess of defense for Wee Vicious, but they will get it out. Playing off each other pretty well in that situation there. As we now see Bram trying to force it out again. Vision going to pick this one up, looking to maybe take it himself. Just blast it towards the other end. And actually, that's a whiff little pace. Forced Parsi to get it off the bar. So I see Pio's. Got tracks in the center. What with again, Bram going to put this one down as now Trax will block it, going to give another chance towards a vision maybe, here he comes, Parsi though, too quick to that is their pace, a little bit of a missed touch there, that's good for his possession, going for that flick onto the backbone and the follow up coming for Trax, put the dagger in and that's 2-2 two to two now, 2 minutes left. Yeah, I we see the, we Vicious just taking up um, taking up a new level, being like, okay, we're behind, we need to show them what, what we got, and they start pushing up a lot. But this is the time where their goal is open. So Glasgow need to start looking at those longer pushes, have Percy move up and hit that ball into the, the opponent's net, because they're not just not going to be home. But if Glasgow's not home, then Vision can just score this easily. 
Yeah, we all know Vision. Look at that. Just had all the control over it, and that final touch, just wonderful of a little pace, and then we'll just glide nicely into the net. 3 to 2 now, 2 minutes left. We Vicious is stopping the momentum that Glasgow's building up. They're back in the lead. So, a little pace. It's got to control over this one. There's a Percy in the midfield to work with. Here comes Trax. Putting this one to high. So, P.O.'s. Gonna put it over to the side. Bram with a light touch. So, now we see Percy with a shot. But it will not be enough as Vision will be there for the block. As our Vision, brilliant touch into the middle, actually. And this could be a free goal for Trax. Eh? What a play there from We Vicious. Hello, backwards rotation. Where are you guys? Come on. You need someone in net to def uh, defend these kind of balls. There's nobody challenging the pass. There's nobody challenging the uh, the shot. There's no one there. And if you do, if you make these kind of mistakes, then yeah, We Vicious is strong enough to punish you every single time you make them. Yes, indeed. So uh, now we're going to see if Glasgow Sword could get back into this one. A minute and a half, um, you know, adequate time, but we Vicious just starting to look a bit stronger again. Glasgow looks, you know, dropping off a little bit. Uh, I must say, you know, they stopped going for these passing plays, really, and they looked a bit oh. shaky on the defense. And that was another close one there from Parsley. Sadly, it couldn't go in as our pace off the corner vision. Gonna try to take control of this one. Here he comes again. So Parsley gonna at least shut that one down, but this gives it over to P.O.'s just now. Pace gonna try to get a bang and clear out for a bit awkward there's now Bram. Actually, it's not gonna be good enough, mate. Has the tracks because of the battle, but there's a demo coming up from Bram. Unfortunately, no no possession here for Glasgow Storm. So Percy has a chance trying to play it himself. He bumps vision, I think. And so Percy puts it back to the center, trying to get a play going if possible. So Pace try to take it out. Here comes Vision with another shot. It's just past him. It's an open net for PO's 5 to 2 now. We bet he's looking like he's gonna be on match point now. Yeah, we Vicious will probably walk away with this one and the biggest mistake we saw here from Glasgow is that they were risking their third man just a little bit too far up. Every time we saw the ball just flying over everyone and having to shadow defend uh, this kind of pressure is just so risky. You want to build a pressure off your own, you don't want to lose any kickoff goals and you want to find a way back but now they need, uh, they need a lot more to get back into this. Yeah, indeed. You know, best of seven reverse sweep possible. I've never done it myself before, but it's incredibly difficult, I can tell you that. And I speak from experience. It's not an easy thing to do, especially if you know your opponents are stronger than you and you know you've got to change something up in your play drastically if you want to make that kind of possibility a reality. As 20 seconds on the clock, 6 to 2 leads for Wee Vicious. As this one back into the midfield tracks. They may be looking for one more, just the stat pad. May not happen, but nevertheless, it's another very strong performance for Wee Vicious. Managed to get themselves back into this game despite going down. And then we're going to match point. Only one more game, and they'll be winning this. So Glasgow Storm got to really step it up now if they want to make themselves into the final. Definitely. I do like the fact that Glasgow at the end got a kind of kind of almost consolation goal. I mean, time was up, but there was no one back to defend that. That was going to go in. That was going to be missed by whatever defender was still there. So good start, like good ending to this game for them. But I don't know if it's enough for them to start believing in the comeback. They need to start their next game strong. They need to get the first few goals and not let any more through make this a convincing victory and then they can start thinking about it if they win it with one goal yeah it's a good first step but that's not the kind of confidence step we need to see from them now if they want to start the reverse sweep in this game four yes indeed so they got to get themselves a pretty commanding victory uh in this game um, you know it's a one goal game it's like yep yeah, you know an all right win is a good step in the right direction but you got to really come out with full confidence here and get the win five minutes is all it will take for we wish just to get a win here uh, as Glasgow Storm, they've got a long road ahead if they want to make it to the finals. It's Bram with an early save. Pio's going to try to touch it down if he can. Vision going to take it off track. So they can make it off as all three players are pushed up for Wee Vicious. Can Glasgow capitalize? Seems to be no as Bram couldn't find a touch into the center. So Pace putting it into the center again for Parse, but great speed by Trax onto that one. So he's going to be going at it again, putting it to the center. No one there though. Pace missing that again. As we see Percy out to the sidewall. Can Pace get a shot? Yes, he can. It's bouncing though. And Traxy will get it out as appeals back down the other end. Here comes Traxy, kind of getting it into the middle. Fortunately, not as Percy's there. As our vision re centers that. A great clear across from Lil Pace as our appeals. Another shot on net, Bram. Will just chip it high and look to follow it up himself. Vision blocking it out. 
I must say, this first minute has been a bit more explosive compared to the previous two games. Both these teams really trying to find some chances. Yeah, and I love the fact Glasgow is definitely going for bumps and demos. They get the first goal, they make the first step now. One, one minute 20 done, and they still have a long road to go, but this is a good start. Just one or two more goals, and they can start believing. Yes, indeed. It's a great infield pass there from Bram and Lot Pace there for the finisher. A bit of an awkward shot at that, but it will do. They're not going to complain about that. As uh, first goal, good first step in the right direction for Glasgow Storm. I believe the first time they've actually gotten the first goal in any game of this series so far. So looking up for them is now looking for another chance. Parsley with the dunk on Pios and will just send it straight through for the second goal. We asked them a question, can you score a couple of goals and win decisively against your opponent? And with one and a half minutes gone now, they are starting to look like they can answer that question with a def definitive yes. Two goals already, looking for a couple more probably. Just really rub it in and get that momentum going for them. Yes, indeed. It's a bit of an awkward defensive situation for them here, though, is this one going to be on there off the bar for Pios. Can he finish it himself? Yes, he can. No one can get back in time. And if you're Glasgow Storm, that can maybe be, you know, a sense of disaster, maybe, as that defense looks like a right mess. Yeah, kickoff defense is hard defense, and it was just messy from start to finish. Again, controlling your kickoff, knowing where you want to go from there, and, and controlling the next 20 seconds of play is something that I really want to see more teams start stepping into, because right now it's just too chaotic, and once you have that chaos, the better team will usually come out victorious, and that's usually based only on individual plays and skill instead of team play. Yes, indeed. Now we have Ashes looking to get themselves back into this game as we see Trax trying to go for another air dribble again. Plenty of space here for Vision, but he just completely misreads it. As now he's got Trax in the middle going for that pass, and here goes Traxy. Up against a little pace, a little pace. I have no bother getting to that one. As now Parsley, what they demo on Pios will hopefully alleviate a bit of pressure. But Vision finds Trax in the middle. What a pass, but a brilliant save as well from Bram to keep it out, at least for now, as Pios going for another pass in field, but it will not reach. The intended destination as now Lopez with zero boost, contest it with Trax, trying to work it down the field. Now Parsley back into Little Pace, over to Bram, what can he do with this? Puts it down for Parsley again. It's a vision, we'll get it out as now he's putting it back down the field. Here comes Pios, onto the backboard, can he make the reads here? Pace again, the great clear as now we see Parsley pre flopping against this one to get it out as a Trax. Let's put it out. Parsley into the center. He was going to try to get out, but he actually misses contact with the ball. A shot for pace will not be enough as we see Bram again into the center, getting a demo on vision. He needs to pounce on this chance that he can. It's into the center. Pace can't find an angle. Here comes Bram, though, does get it past. And that pressure from Glasgow Storm finally pays off. Very good pressure. And that's. More than anything, that's what I wanted to see from them. More pressure, more control of the midfield. Just make we Vicious force them into mistakes. They're not going to make them on their own. They seem solid enough, so you need to keep up that pressure. And it's a big task now when you have been this far ahead to score two more goals to tie this game up. So it's looking very good for Glasgow this game. Yeah, and the Glasgow looking quite comfortable now. Two goal lead is a decent cushion for them if they keep the star play going then. I don't see any reason to consider them the winners of this game as we see Parse going to try to take it out. He was going to get it into the corner. Bram has a bit of time to warm up and he knows it. Flicks it over one track. going to get contact with the ball and he'll have time to follow up for another one. Tries for the shot, but you know it's not going to be enough for him. So he tries to flick it up. Pio's going to try to get onto the backboard. Looks to be dropping down. Bram, great read and getting this one out again. The see pace. Going to try to get away. Tracks this one into the corner. Bram, going to try to get to it. He does clear it out. The see vision. Going to try to take control of this, but he just gives the ball away for free. I'm not liking that from Wee Vicious. Giving the ball away like that, especially if you're down this much in the game as we're seeing Bram. I think it out again. Gets it down on Pio's. And it will at least buy him a slight bit of time as this one into the center. Vision up for it. A great save again for Bram. And 30 seconds left. Glasgow looking poised to take it. He was nearly getting it, but Glasgow looking so solid on their defense at the moment. 
Yeah, Glasgow, the, their rotations are just a lot better. And as we want to praise them, 22 seconds left, they're still going to make it a nail-biter, apparently. This is going to be one of the most important kickoffs that we're going to be seeing from Glasgow. Yeah, indeed. One goal, and it will be Reeve Vicious that can tie this game up. 22 seconds. We've seen it in you know across all the playoffs so far. We've seen goals in such a small space of time, especially off kickoff. As we see Glasgow, we're going to put on the pressure. You need to keep Wee Vicious pinned in their half as far as to put it in field, but it's free possession for Wee Vicious. They're on top of each other, though. It does allow Bram to get onto this one as we see POs. I mean, possession of Bram is not going to stop. He's, and there's another demo onto Vision. As now Percy, he gets one to the center, and it looks like this one's going to die the bump as well to just seal the deal. Glasgow Storm finally get their first game on the board. Yeah, and their next step, like this is just that big step program, winning the first one convincingly, I think we can still say it was convincingly, yes, a couple of mistakes by the end of it, but they showed that they can keep up pressure, they showed that they know how to control the pace of the game, and that they can challenge We Vicious in the air and on the ground whenever they need to. The next step now is just survive the wrath of We Vicious, because this game... They, we Vicious is going to feel like they should have won this. They should have uh, uh, sw swept it. And this next game, they're going to come in all guns blazing. So if Glasgow Storm can survive this next one, then they can get into We Vicious's mind. Then they can start looking to really finish off the reverse sweep. But this next game is just as important, if not more important than the last. Yeah, because I feel like with this next step, you know, if they can win this next game, then they're really going to put some pressure onto Wee Vicious. And Wee Vicious can maybe have that feeling that this game's maybe getting a bit out of hand for them as we're going into the next game of this series. Game 5. 3 to 1 lead still for Wee Vicious. But they have a, they're not going to have an easy task from here on out as we are seeing P. Hose is going to have a bit of possession here. Not a lot of us to work with, though. He's going to be easily shut down as we see tracks. Gonna try take it again. Gonna take it past one. I'm gonna try put it down the field, but he's not got great control over it again. The CPO's up for this. Gonna try contest it. Our vision. Gonna try take this. And Scott tracks in the midfield again. PO's up on the wall with him. A bit of a questionable play, but they will still have a bit of possession now as tracks try to get into the midfield again. This one being popped high, a little pace, a banging clear down the field. Vision looking to get a touch tonight. He does, but it's still awkward, but he follows it up himself at least. Forces the defender to commit, or the attacker to commit, sorry, as we now see P.O.'s again, Parsley forced this one through, trying to get tracks off that back wall. He's now at Bram, looking for a shot, it's a roll, and Vision now has a little bit of space to work with Pace though, gonna block him off again. This could be dangerous, but tracks will get onto it. He's now Parsley looking for one more centre here, but P.O.'s will have no problem clearing it out. So the siege going on, but this first bit of come and gone, and come to notice that we fishers don't look so confident in this game so far. They look like backed into a corner almost and could be a sign of their mentality starting to deteriorate a little bit after that loss. Yeah, it could very much be and that would be strange after winning so many goals. It is weird that they're falling behind like this but I gotta say once you get close to winning that is, it brings its own kind of jitters and this first goal looks very good for Percy and his team. Yeah, indeed, and there's a nice, lovely pass into the middle, and it was Parsley again getting that goal. Seemingly the striker for this Glasgow Storm side, being so aggressive in a lot of his plays. As we're now seeing him getting this one to the backboard again, another centre, and a great angle for Bram Abios gets a piece of it, and we'll get this clear out now, trying to get a flick over one. Getting it down the side as now Traxy taking it again by little pace. I'm liking these demos here, getting him on the rotations out. And just denying chances for the opposition. So Pio's answered back with a demo of his own. Bram gonna have a free touch. Pio's on the back. We're gonna put it down to tracks, but looking a little bit awkward. Them as tracks has to get yet another touch, but it will not be enough as it gives Pace another chance. Getting the bombs on Pio's again and Vision. So we're seeing Percy getting it into the center and finally a clear. It's found Vision down the field. Can't find that touch. Oh my, oh my. Weavish is not looking too great at the moment. It just seems like Glasgow Storm, it's like the script has been flipped almost. Glasgow seems to have all the control over this game so far. And it's looking a little bit dire for Wee Vicious here, a little bit concerned for them. Yeah, I understand the, the concern. There's still so many games to play, but momentum seems to have shifted. And we saw, once we saw Wee Vicious vibing, they looked so strong. They knew how to hit their shots. They were 
very accurate, very deadly, and very speedy. But now that they are like they are a bit scared, you see them clumping up a bit more, not using their spacing, not using their speed, and their like better technique to actually out bully We Vicious. They get the first goal on the board though, as Vision puts that one in, and that could be a good start for them to secure this series. Yes, indeed. It was P.O. again getting that demo on the last defender. I just like how both these teams are trying to incorporate demos into their game as it's tied up one to one. Two minutes and ten seconds left. You know, this game could certainly be wide open for either of these teams, but we best just got to get some confidence back. That first goal is a good start for them. So another infield pass comes in. Brammer, great speed on them. P.O. has to get a touch on this. So Parsley a bit too quick on that one, can't land the touch on it as Trax, he cuts across, trying to make a play happen, P.O.'s back into the centre, Bram gonna have a piece of this one as their pace, gonna try to get it out of Vision, just waiting there, sees P.O.'s across the field, tries to get a shot on it, it's just why as Trax gets onto it, now Vision, a weak touch again, Bram gonna try to get onto it, it's a little bit awkward here, Vision with a good flick off the back wall, but Parsley just managed to get a touch out, so Traxy. Getting this one back out, just pushing it all the way back to Vision, but it is an awkward touch and it does give a chance for Percy, but the shot is way wide. Now see Bram up for it again. Light touch, Vision is going to try to get it out. This actually could be a really good chance for him, but not enough speed on him as now tracks to try to get it into the midfield. Bram now getting it out, a little pace, can't get a touch on it. So see Bram against the centre, Peel is going to be up for this, and we're approaching a one minute mark, and I really can't see how this game's going to be going as we just seem to be back on the level playing field here. Yeah, we've just seen on the level playing field and there's a bit of sweaty hands going on for Glasgow. Just just tiny mistakes again that are working in their deficit. They're being pressured on way more and we, we Vicious is not vibing yet, is not feeling as confident as they were just a game ago. But they are they are starting to stabilize a little bit. They are trying to take a little bit more control and Maybe from there, they can find some more chances, but they do need demos like that to clear out the defense because Glasgow is making a few mistakes, but it's not enough to leave an open net. Yes, indeed. So they got to find those demos like they did with their first goal this game, of course. It worked out well for them. As P.O.'s has a bit of a chance here. He's got no one to find in the sense of those. We see Vision with another shot on that track. A little bit awkward there, but P.O.'s can just cut in and get this one away as time's ticking down in this game. It looks like we will be having an overtime Unless, you know, if someone pulls out a zero second miracle, Pio's gonna have to let this one die. No one's gonna be threatening that ball into overtime. Only one goal for Wee Vicious to get themselves a series win, but Glasgow can still get this, this game. As I said, it's still wide open. We'll have to see who can come up with a victory now. Yeah, and let's make sure for Glasgow that their kickoff jitters do not affect them too much. They're still trying to recover. They're still trying to get stabilized in that one. And if they can get the stabilization done, they are looking pretty strong to maybe take game two as well. And then the reverse sweep just starts in earnest. Yes, indeed. It's 30 seconds in. Getting a bit back and forth of both these teams as Vision trying to get into the field. But that ball is really dangerous. Thankfully, it is wide for We Vicious as their power state. Trying to get another shot on net, but it will not matter too much. It's now it's cleared out. P.O. is going to get a touch on this. A follow it up. Graham with a wide shot attempt. Vision trying to get it out, but that is a dangerous one to the center. Thankfully, P.O. is a very smart demo to get rid of that attacking threat. It's now Parsley out to the side. Vision getting chased down by Bram. Has to take his time on this one. He just gives the ball away again. Is that this one's being blown out into the center? P.O. is now up for the spring. It's the corner for tracks. The Percy up for it again. It is contested. Now a little pace has to be careful here. Does get a touch as last man. The P.O. is going to try get it out. Bram now sending a shot towards net vision. Clears it across. Trax is going to pick this one up as the Percy yet another shot. P.O. on the line vision also double committing for that one. It could be dangerous, but they should be able to alleviate it. Is their little pace again with a demo on vision? You can see here Glasgow again putting those demos in, trying to break down his wee vicious defense, which at the moment seems to be struggling a lot to find a clear. Yeah, and also just miscommunication mistakes. You see one of their players moving up for a pass, hoping to get it boomed to them, and it doesn't happen. Both players in net, not knowing who's supposed to go for that next one, doesn't go for anything, and they finally get out of their half and might start a counter attack here, and a bit of counter pressure, but that could be very dangerous. It almost drops in, and Bram takes it away, and now it is once again going to the Wee Vicious side. The, count the counter attack has stopped, and pressure might be on once again. 
Yes, indeed. Two minutes and ten seconds into this overtime. We best just having a bit of an attack, but they're pushed so far up in this ball going towards that. It's wide again, and no one can find a shot. Is it Percy? Tries to slam it through, but Traxxi just manages to get in the way of it. And if you're Weebish, you just dodged a bullet there. All three players committed upfield, and really that should have been a goal. Just getting away with murder, seemingly, as now Pio is trying to contain his offense. Bram, big it down the field. Here comes Percy for a shot vision. A good block there, and now Pio's looking to follow it up. He had Trax in the middle to work with, but he put it too far down the field. So Trax. Tries to get it over to the side. Vision gonna pick this one up. Looking to go off the ceiling if he can. He's got no boost to work with. He's now at all pace. Gonna get out to the side. Pio's out onto this. Into the corner. Here comes Percy again. Into the middle. Bram gonna be up for this. A banging shot downfield. Can Vision get it? Yes, he can. Into this own corner. But the threat's not over yet. This one's going over the net. Traxy gonna have to get to this one. Thankfully, no one was there to make the finisher. And he's gonna put this one down the field. Now for the try. Force a 50 here. Vision up for it. Gonna try to get another touch on it if he can, but Parsley has all the control over this, trying to get this one back down the field. Really, I can't see how, you know, which way this game's gonna go at the moment because it seems either team could take uh, any opportunity. Yeah, uh, although I, I find it so weird for Wee Vicious that they are playing with such desperation. They get it eventually, don't even have to finish my thought. And just together with Vision, they work that ball in eventually. What a game and what a finish, but Wee Vicious just seemed a little bit stronger on the day, although they were looking shaky. Yeah, indeed, that last game, you know, you know that yeah, that game right there just showed how shaky it could be. You know, they had a you know, pretty nervous start, I guess, to that game in particular, but they brought themselves back and grinded through that overtime there. And eventually, you know, after so much pressure, you know, back and forth action, they get that goal and they secure a spot in the finals. And, you know, got to say, congratulations to Wee Vicious for making it to the finals. Uh, you fought hard and played really well. And, you know, they'll be facing off against, I believe, it's either... Uh, ILV Esports or Ascension Trinity. Uh, they're currently playing on the B stream. Um, you know, currently 2-2 two two in that series. So we'll see the outcome of that match. Uh, whereas Glasgow Storm got to say, Chris mentioned to them, they showed some of their qualities, um, but it just was not nearly enough on the day, I don't feel like. Uh, but good luck to them, at least in the third place match. Uh, they look pretty solid, I must say. Obviously, how they'll both perform in their respective games. Yeah, and for me, the thing with We Fishes was it was so strange that even uh, they fall, fell one game down while they were still three up, and they seemed to panic so hard. So I got to say that they need to start working on their confidence, knowing that, hey, if we are this far ahead and we lose one, that's okay. Just reset and move on. Do not get fallen into the trap that is, oh, we lost one. Maybe the reverse sweep, ha reverse sweep happens. Believe in yourself next time. Know that you can push through this. And don't give Glasgow the chance. Don't give them the pleasure to play against a panic you. Because that is what was happening. And what almost gave Glasgow the confidence and the space to finish that one off. And start the reverse sweep in earnest. With, with them putting a second one on the board at overtime. Yes, indeed. So, again, I must say very well played to both those teams. Uh, so, I think now we'll be hopping to a break. Um, if you guys want to watch uh, some more gameplay, want to see who will face uh, Wee Vicious in the finals, then head over to the B stream. Just type X with your B stream in the chat and it will give you the link. Uh, currently, it's 3 2 up now to ILV Esports. They just finished the uh, last game there. So, Ascension Trinity got the work to do to get back into that series. Uh, so, if you want to see some more action, then head over there. But as for us in the A stream, we'll head over to a break and we will see you guys uh, later on uh, once this next match finishes in the B stream for the third place.